Welcome to the Google Drive module. We're just going to go over a few basic things before you start your activities. So when you want to go to Google Drive, you can either click on the checkerboard up here in the corner, and when you do that, you will get to a different app, apps that you can access. You can click Drive there, or you can also go to drive.google.com. That's the naming convention that Google also uses, drive.google.com, docs.google.com. It's the same kind of convention. When you get there, this is a screen that you will see. So one of the things you'll notice on the left is you have My Drive, and that is your drive. Google Drive is in the cloud. It's your own personal storage space. It's your server space where you can do two things. You can upload documents that can be kept there and shared with others and archived and stored as backups. And those documents can either be kept in the original format, like a Word document or a PowerPoint, or they can be converted to a Google Doc or a Google format that you could then go on and collaborate on. You don't have to make that decision when you upload it. You can always just upload it in the original format. Then you can right click or control click on a Mac, but get the contextual menu and tell it to open in the Google app that matches it. So I have my drive and when I hit, see this little triangle here I can open it and I will see other things here as well. So I can see different kinds of folders. That's my Google Classroom folder. But I can also make a new folder by clicking here and go to folder. So now I could call this one, um, let's say Google PD. And I create my folder and now it shows up here too. If I collapse that triangle, it'll be, just, it'll be gone, but as soon as I expand it, there it is. So there's Google PD. I have a couple documents in here that I might want to drag over into that folder, and I could just take them and drag them in. I can put one there, and I could also put this one in there. Now the cool thing about using folders is it helps organize your work and you can have subfolders, folders within folders. But the other thing you can do is you can right click or control click on it and you can share that folder. Another way you can share that folder is to click on it and go to this little icon at the top, this little person with a plus. And you'll get the same kind of sharing window that you do when you share a document. Those are the lessons you'll learn when you get to the document section. There's a whole little series of movies and information on sharing documents there. But basically you can write an, an email address of someone that you want to share it with. You can go to advance and you can even make it um, as public as you wanted to here. It could be a really public one just by saying anybody that has a link can access it. This will be kept in the next unit. But whatever you decide to do with this folder, Whatever sharing settings you give that folder, anything you drop into it is going to inherit those same sharing settings. So that makes it really handy if you want to share several documents with one group. You don't have to worry about sharing every document. You just share the, make the sharing settings on the folder the way you want them and then just drop them in there. You also have different ways of finding things like shared with me, looking for things people have shared with you, recent items that you might have worked on. And if you can't find something, there's a great search tool up here. You can just search standard like this, so I could look for a summary. And there it populates. I can always click the search icon here also to see there are other results that don't populate right there. But there's even advanced search here because you can, because you can click on this little triangle and now you can sort for, well, I know that summary is a document, so I could just look for documents titled su summary. And maybe I know that I created it, that it's owned by me, or it's not owned by me. So I can refine my search in lots of different ways. And so now I have that, the Google Apps for Education Summary by Jeffrey Hunt. He was the one who created it and owned it, and he has shared it with other people, I'm sure, too. But that's the, the way I can search for things. And I think the only other thing I just wanted to address right now, there are other way, things you can do in the Drive window. But I also want to show you that you can sort it by icon by clicking here. And so perhaps you have your Google PD folder here. I can look at them as icons. Or when I start getting a lot, I can click and have a list view. So either way works, uh, just whichever you prefer. I just know when you get a lot of different documents, you're going to probably want to do the list view. 
So I think that's enough for right now about the Google Drive and how it looks this way. Uh, the other way you can use Google Drive is when you get ready to create things. This is your launch pad, your home base for going over here and creating new documents. And this is where you go to upload files into Google Drive. So you can upload them, put them in folders, whatever you want to do with them, store them, share them, all those things. So welcome to Google Drive.